Hi guys, so we're in the thick of winter here in Sydney, which means I'm a little bit late for doing my quarterly five random things that I've discovered that I really love that I want to share with you. So I'm going to get straight into it. Number one, the Stiller eyeshadow palette. Now I'm one of those people who very rarely wears eyeshadow unless I'm going to a special occasion. And that is simply because I'm really bad at blending eyeshadows and I don't really know how. But recently I got a lesson at Mecca and um, they showed me how to use this. And um, I did my, I, my makeup early this morning. I've been up since 4.30 and I have touched it up during the day. But I think I've done a really good job for a beginner at blending this. Now this eyeshadow palette is so easy to use. It's the easiest one I've ever bought. And the colors are like matte roses, which are really great for natural everyday looks. And then to like spark it up, um, if that's the right saying in the cosmetic world, um, some metallic um, shimmery colors to go on top to give it a deeper effect. I'm so glad I bought this. Um, I do have a couple of eyeshadow palettes, but this is by far the best. And um, I felt gu guilty at the time because I probably didn't really need it, but it's actually turned out to be really good buy. So that's number one. Actually, number two should probably be getting a lesson at Mecca because you learn so much about how to just improve the way you apply makeup to really enhance your features. So that should be technically number two. Oh, hello. The next thing is, um, these are really bad, but they're really good. I actually have to hide these when I buy them from Morocco because they're so good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, they're called Butter Bean. It's basically brownies squashed together with buttercream. I accidentally <coughs> squashed mine um, and it's, they're so good. But they come in a whole variety of other colors. They're a small business. They started up in Melbourne, I think, and they've just started delivering to Sydney. And I bought these from Flat White in Malara where they sell them and they're so good. So but this one's my favorite, which is vanilla with buttercream. Yes, 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 you can have some. Then they also do a salted caramel, which is this one. And then probably my second favorite one is a Nutella one. It's so good. And Rocco and I absolutely love these. They're so good. You're going to have to wait. And we're going to have to share this. No, you, you have that one. No, no. We're going to share this one. This one can be saved for another day. They're so good for if you're one of those people who love sweet things because they're enough to like really satisfy without you needing to go back for more and more. They're delicious. Now, the fourth thing is this lipstick, which <clears throat> when I was getting the lesson at Mecca, um, the girl, as I was about to like um, leave, she said, oh, can I just show you this lipstick? And I was like, oh, no, 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 I don't need any more lipsticks. Thank you so much. She goes, no, no, just trust me. This one I think will really suit you. And she went to the lipsticks. Now, I, again, am not very good at applying makeup. I always go for a gloss. That's my go-to because it's quick and easy to apply. And you can, no one can really tell if you've got it not covered properly. Anyway, she got me this Shantakai lipstick, which I'm wearing right now. And it is not only the nicest, prettiest, most natural color, um, it's my favorite lipstick now, but it's so easy to apply. I would never, ever, ever buy a lipstick and I would happily go back and buy this more. So this color is Lip Chic Daphne, uh, or Daphne, I think it's this, sorry. Really bad pronunciation. And I will link this in the description box, but it's a really nice, natural, everyday color for people who are in a rush to do their makeup. So then the fourth slash fifth thing, if you want to count the Mecca um, recommendation, is these incredible Anastasia tweezers. Now, you know that question, if you were left on a desert island and you could only take one thing with you, what would it be? My answer is very simple. I'd take tweezers. And I have a really weird, unhealthy obsession with tweezering things. I'm slightly OCD and I could just tweezer to my heart's content for a very long time and it'd be perfectly happy. And these are the best tweezers I've ever come across. Now, they're quite expensive. Um, actually, they're really expensive. Uh, they're $50 Australian, which is crazy, but they are so sharp and they're so good. There is no hair too short for these bad boys. And I'm, I've been able to really like shake my eyebrows and really get in there and any little tiny stubble that I'd normally have to wait a day before I could pluck it, these ones work. So as I say, quality over quantity, these, I think, are well worth the investment. I really like the pretty pink color. And the final and fifth and most random thing that I found that I really love is this step from Ikea. I call it the step of independence because let me show you how much freedom and independence it gives Rocco. Hey Rocco, can you get some yogurt out of the fridge? <laughs>
Hey Rocco, wanna sit on your step? And guess what? You can make it as dirty as you like. Nah, it's all dirty. Thanks, Mama. Well, that's it from me. Five really random things that I've discovered that I'm absolutely loving and have well worth being the investment for me, and that's why I'm sharing them with you. As Rocco and I like to say, sharing is caring, but I have a feeling that whoa, get down. that we're not going to be sharing this butter being at all, are we? <gasps> no, she, no, no. <laughs> I got foam. <laughs> Oh my god, so good. Oh my gosh, whoa, rock that's enough. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next week for responsible shopping, including investing, shares, planning for retirement, passive income, and of course an update on the thousand dollar project. I have better go fight this kid for this butter bing, otherwise I'm never gonna get a chance to have another bite. <laughs> see you later guys. Ciao! Say ciao! Bye. <laughs> Say ciao. <laughs> Say bye bye. Bye. <laughs> I promise. I don't want to eat myself. I don't. I'm gonna share it. No, I don't want to share. Sharing is. No. Sharing is. No. Caring. I'll eat myself. Oh, Rocco is way too big for you and your tummy. But they are so good and so addictive. If you're one of those people like me who loves. I wouldn't eat it myself. <laughs> so that's it. Five random things that I've discovered that I am absolutely loving and have been well worth the investment for me. What are you doing? <laughs> mm, you just want a brownie. You just want a butter bean.